Back on the Morning Brew for you today, and it's Monday. Khalil Akalona is filling in for Aaron today. Appreciate it, Khalil. Anytime. Thank a lot you. of fun. We'll have a chance to talk to uh, some more football here in a moment. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm Larry Aaron, and with us on the couch today is Lucas Perry. Lucas is an account manager with the hottest website in town, <laughs> newscastic.com. Yeah, you yeah, guys are. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Yeah, it just uh, continues to grow like crazy. In January, we had we hit half our total traffic just in the month of January. Yeah, wow. it's incredible. Um, so the, you know, it, it's been good to see. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for, to see where it for goes. for the uh, uninitiated, what is Newscastic? Newscastic is an online-based marketplace where we produce locally written stories um, that are just kind of you know one-off, a lot of list-type stories. Why New Mexico is the best at this, or how to speak New Mexican, like we've said in the past. Um, and it, it's just uh, some fun to share yes. with all your friends. So. Perfect. Well, we've got a couple of them for you today, and we're going to share them straight from the I online do. pages of Newscastic. And yep. um, I like this one, the nine things you can only learn in New Mexico. Yeah, so, well, six things. First, first thing um, Oh, yes, is... six. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> six. Um, is that actually Albuquerque uh, is quite the mouthful uh, when it comes to a, a city name. So unless you're from mm -hmm. Albuquerque or New Mexico, most people don't know how to spell it correctly. Right. Uh, <laughs> so that's one thing, and, and so much so that actually we're, Weird Al Yankovic wrote a song about it. It's kind of funny. I didn't know yeah. that. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. The, the second thing down on that list is what to do in case of a space emergency. Now what what we mean by that is that we actually have a center dedicated to teach kids K through 12th grade how to train and simulate um, doing exercises in space, like meeting up with a comet or collecting data from the moon or you know any, anything like that. Really? Um, which is pretty interesting. I didn't know that we had that. Yeah. I didn't either. Uh, next on that list, uh, UNM actually offers one of few earth and planetary science degrees here and can be considered one of the best just because of the diverse biological and topographical landscape of New Mexico. Huh. Um, so News to me. Yeah. 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 Some, something cool. different. Yeah. yeah. And let's see here. Oh, of course, it's also one of the one of the best places to learn how to fly a hot air balloon. Yeah. I mean, not not just because of the International Balloon Fest, but just because we have such a wide array of uh, yeah, so you're going to learn how to do that. Uh, available to people who want to learn how to do that. Plus, we have a lot of instructors around here. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Um, and now the, this next one I can really testify to um, just because I grew up in New Mexico, but it's how to dress for all of our drastic weather changes. I mean, I've, I've been yeah. in a situation where, yeah, where I go skiing in the morning and then drive into town and go play golf. <laughs> and so it's like the best of both right. winter and summer seasons sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and lastly, we can make anything better by adding <laughs> one ingredient. I think we all know what that is, green chili. Yeah. Mm. So, this, yeah. so we take a good thing and make it better. Exactly. Like this, uh, I guess that's a baked potato or something. I, it, but you can it do it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter. Better. Does it count it's when people better. put it on their Cheerios, though? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Exactly. All right. Sure. Okay. Sure. Exactly. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it done. Well, All right, Lucas, let's talk done. about the other one. Sure. Seven awesome discoveries That's made right. in New Mexico. That's right. Uh, first down on that list is we actually have found the biggest dinosaur bones within the country uh, right here in New Mexico. We did that, huh? Um, Good. Yeah, actually the bones found belong to a type of dinosaur called an Alamosaurus, which is also um, one of the biggest ever discovered in the world, uh, which is pretty cool. And let's see here, that was, I guess they dated that back 69 million years ago. Wow. So a, a while ago. Okay. And next down on that is kind of along the lines of, of the whole dinosaur fossil theme, but we've found a lot of mammoth tusks and ribs, and some have measured up to eight feet in length. So imagine how big this thing has to be if the tusk is eight mm -hmm. feet. Yeah, pretty. Big animal. Yeah, pretty substantial. Uh, also, we have the largest crystal of fluorite. So what that is is, is similar to 
a, a diamond or a, a ruby, emerald, anything like that, but it actually weighed 35 pounds. So if you can imagine wearing like a, a 35 pound diamond ring or something, <laughs> or something like that. It's so measured cute. in pounds, not yeah. carrots. Yeah. Um, let's see here, next down on that list is scientists actually have discovered uh, plenty of new species. And these species are um, considered arthropods, which is anything like an insect or spider or crustacean. Um, and they've adapted to live within a cave. So, mm -hmm. something else. And, and these are all recent discoveries. Who knew? So, yeah. <laughs> th things just are changing. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have done your research, which is good. <laughs> a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. yeah. Yeah. And then also, we actually have the rarest type of bumblebee in the country, and it's called a cockerel bumblebee. Really? And yeah. So there it is. That's what it looks it like. It belongs to us, huh? Does. You only find them here. That's right. Interesting. That's, really That's right. Um, and then down, uh, uh, kind of along with the, the theme of dinosaurs and, and mammoths, we have found Ice Age footprints, uh, mostly in the White Sands region. Um, so if you're out hiking around, anything like that, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe you'll find a, a fossil. Mm -hmm. right. That's pretty uh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. And one more, huh? And then one more. Um, we actually have one of the oldest archaeological records of human inhabitation uh, right here in, in New Mexico. And those stone tools, actually one was found in Clovis and was named the Clovis Point and was dated back 14,000 years ago. Wow. So, wow. Another, so another cool discovery here. Man was bopping around Clovis about that time. Uh, yep. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, what I like about Newscastic is that the, the variety of topics that you guys come up with just amazing. Just try to keep and, it diverse, yeah. And if you want to, if you're a writer and you want to contribute something, you can do that. Just go to newscastic.com. Absolutely, absolutely. It's super easy to do. Um, just go to newscastic.com, create a, an account, and follow the directions from there. Right. I love having you guys on. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate Lu it. Lucas yeah. Perry with newscastic.com here in the Duke City. All right. Uh, Khalil and I will be back with a final cup, and I think we'll talk some more football here in a moment. Next as we week. continue for Monday's Morning Brew.